When we use a high speed handpiece to cut off old crowns, the cutting power is not just about the burr speed. Consistently high torque is what matters most, and that's where electric handpieces really stand out. The products in my armamentarium that I rely on most are the NLZ electric micro motor used in combination with the Z95L electric handpiece. Following the simple and easy quick connect of your handpiece to the micro motor, you will notice that the text on each component aligns with one another. Your handpiece is now ready to begin removing old crowns. In our first clinical scenario, our patient presented with a 40-year-old metal ceramic crown that she wanted replaced for cosmetic reasons. On your NLZ touch panel, the best setting for cutting off metal ceramic crowns is going to be 200,000 RPMs. I always find it helpful to start with a coarse round chamfer burr to begin my preparations. Whenever I begin sectioning a crown, I always start by creating a slot or trough on the facial surface of the ceramic to help guide the burr. You will get the best results if you avoid pressing too hard and just let the burr do the cutting for you. Once you have cut through the ceramic, switch to a carbide burr to easily section through the metal substructure. Light pressure with a crown remover will then allow easy removal of the restoration. One of the keys to creating an invisible subgingival margin in the anterior relies on the gentle placement of cord around the tooth preparation. Once you are ready to finish your margins, it is important to set your NLZ electric motor to 50,000 RPMs. At this slower speed, I will also switch to a fine round chamfer burr to help avoid any trauma to the soft tissue. Throughout the course of high precision procedures, the lightweight titanium body and DuraGrip coating on the Z95L help to eliminate hand fatigue. First time users of the Z95L electric handpiece will immediately notice how easy it is to maintain a steady and consistent speed of the burr during operation. Because the burr doesn't wobble and vibrate during the use with an electric handpiece, the resulting margins of your preparation will be much smoother. We also know from the literature, compared to air turbine handpieces, much smoother consistent tooth surfaces are achieved when electric handpieces are used, regardless of the diamond grit of the burr. Less hand fatigue, smooth margins, and glossy tooth surfaces are common factors in the operator experience when the need arises to remove existing anterior restorations with the Z95L electric handpiece. In our second clinical scenario, we examine an all too common occurrence, a dislodged crown with poor retention and recurrent decay. Unlike maxillary anterior tooth preparations, the limited interocclusal space Poor visibility and oral structures such as the tongue and cheeks make working on mandibular molars a unique challenge. With several millimeters of thick enamel remaining circumferentially, I have my NLZ motor set at 200,000 RPMs. Uprighting an over tapered tooth preparation in the posterior requires that I position the burr perpendicular with the occlusal plane of the teeth. With many electric handpieces, this would be a daunting task. The small head radius and slim neck of the Z95L, however, make this endeavor surprisingly easy. The Z95L's four nozzle quattro spray and bright LED are especially critical for enhanced visualization in the difficult to see areas of the distal and lingual surfaces of the tooth being prepared. Even as I prep along the delicate gingival border and the intradental papilla, there is no bleeding or damage to the tissue. Again, it is important to note that the constant torque, consistent burr speed, and low vibration of the handpiece are crucial, not only for producing buttery smooth tooth surfaces, but also for protecting the soft tissue. After the tooth has been prepared to the ideal form, the existing restorative material and recurrent decay is removed in preparation for the core buildup. 
phosphoric acid etch, bonding agent, and placement of a fiber reinforced flowable resin are completed. Cord placement on molars is less about hiding the restorative margin and more about gaining additional height of the tooth preparation. With our NLZ electric micromotor set to 50,000 RPMs, we are ready to safely and effectively refine and smooth the tooth surfaces and margins. After careful inspection, our molar preparation is now ready for the final impression. For this particular case, we utilized a two-stage impression technique with an extremely accurate light body wash that would precisely capture the margin we created, followed by a heavy bodied silicone in a stock tray. When we examine the impression we made, we are able to easily visualize a clean and accurate 360 degree margin. These routine clinical cases highlight the ergonomics, efficiency, and enjoyability of utilizing an electric handpiece, which make the daily grind feel a little bit less like work.